In this video, I want to show you how to reattach a sketch and how to copy paste objects. What does reattach and copy paste have in common and what are the requirements? There is a renewal in the latest major release NX 2306, which I'd like to discuss as well. You can reproduce the exercise in older versions as well, no problem meaning most of the things I'm going to show you in this video. And therefore, I will link the parts which are displayed in the description below. The exercise is an excerpt of one of my live webinars where we discuss modeling methods in general concerning modeling within the modeling task as well as assembling components. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from Bisslearn. Hi and welcome to another NX CAD tutorial. It's a mixture of what's new Siemens NX 2306 as well as CAD secrets. Because a little bit of knowledge is required in order to be successful when performing reattach or copy and paste. What do those things have in common? You will see as well. Therefore, I have prepared two parts. And of course, in order to be successful when performing copy and paste, it requires some stability we have to add into our constructions. Some things we have to consider like horizontal modeling methods, modularity, etc. Things which I'm not going to explain in detail. Therefore, just have a look at my playlists at my other videos. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe I will upload further content soon and just have a look at my playlists concerning cat secrets. This is the current version. I have stored the files in an older version. If it's not possible for you to open, let me know in the comments below so I will prepare a, an older version style file for you. The goal of this exercise is to copy existing geometry into a new part like this one and therefore I've prepared a position by using a coordinate system. This is something you will have to learn somewhere else or visit one of my trainings, my basic trainings in order to be able to prepare such constructions. I'm going to focus on reattach what is required. Reattach, there is a renewal in the current version 2306 which says that you can reattach a sketch outside of the sketch, which I think is brilliant. But there is one prerequisite, how to use reattach. Have you experienced reattach? And just let me, let me have a look into the sketch while I double click. Are you able to find reattach? I mean, there is a renewal, which is nice, which I really enjoy because I don't have to enter sketches in order to move sketches, in order to redesign or reattach, orientate sketches. That's what reattach does. But how did we reattach before? It was possible, but when using the default role, which I have enabled currently, reattach is um, by default not displayed. So I think many users, and I know by my experience as a supporter, that many users don't have an idea of reattach. And another problem is if you know where reattach is, it's below the sketch group. If I expand here, here it is, the blue box. In the past it was a blue box, now um, parts of it are blue. If you find it, finding reattach as a tool is one prerequisite, but being successful depends on the way you have designed your sketches. This sketch has no external references. This is one prerequisite to be successful, or the chance is higher of being successful when reordering the sketch. Is meaning why this drop down here, this is the old sketch solver by the way, there is a constraint browser, and if I just reset this, the scope is all in active sketch and there is a column called external reference. If there is an entry listed, an external reference, be careful because reattach only changes 
the sketch position but keeps external reference is meaning that for example if this dimension points to to, an, to a body edge like this point here or the end point of the edge this will maintain and if you move your sketch by using reattach to another coordinate system which is away from this one things might collapse and sketches might fail so be careful when creating sketches not to use external references unnecessarily and there is one trick it's the filter upon here as well as the possibility of hiding external objects but uh, my recommendation is using the filter within actor sketch only and instead of modifying the filter upon here on and on and on my recommendation to you and your administrators and key users is to do one setting in the customer defaults you want to know what kind of setting is meant then have a look at the video which i'm going to link on the upper right now it's my most successful video on youtube with up to 50,000 views currently a lot and really successful just have a look at the video how to do this setting and further settings that are required in order to make more stable designs how to reattach it's simple i'm going to start reattach there are two opportunities one of them is to exchange the plane the vector or the point so you could now just exchange the plane and the vector without exchanging the point but i think that made things complex just remember when creating the sketch we usually use the invert method and instead of dividing three individuals my recommendation is to use invert again and just select a plane of a coordinate system like for example this one i want to rotate my sketch by 90 degrees and this is new by the way show result is a renewal it's not available in previous versions but in the current major release so i'm going to use show result and it's only the plane that is displayed not the construction so the construction is not updated therefore you will have to perform the command and you will have to finish the sketch or if the sketch was entered without rollback that was the case here you can use update model so i will have to enable this as well now i can update model and now the entire construction is updated just because i have not entered the sketch with rollback i can now finish and you can see here while i right click edit is bold and if i edit the sketch via edit via double click it's not gonna roll back which is fine if you want to roll back use this but then you cannot update your construction within the sketch how do we reattach outside of the sketch there is no opportunity currently the reason is the new reattach function outside of the sketch is only available when the sketch is newer meaning the new sketch solver is used so you will have to convert this sketch via renew feature or create the sketch via the new solver but once a sketch is renewed there's no way back here you can see a list of features from an old version those can be converted if something is not listed it's up to date so if i select the sketch and confirm this is renewed and X is going to roll back and once I open renew again the sketch is no more included in this list so I'm just going to cancel this operation now this sketch is driven by the new sketch solver if I double click here you can see all the new functions it's working properly so this is the new sketch and of course I want to rotate again because this orientation is wrong so I can now right click and reattach this sketch the same way I could before my recommendation is to use invert instead of new plane 
I'm going to select this plane and everything else is inferred by an X. Show result only shows me now the orientation, the new orientation of the sketch, but not the entire construction as you can see. But that's okay, that's fine. And the reason I'm fine with this is I know that my construction will behave stable just because I'm following a few rules repeatedly. It's like modularity, simplicity and connectivity, readability. These are rules I have defined that make my constructions independent from its complexity, stable and reusable. You want to know more? Let me know in the comments below or have a look at my website and book one of my trainings. Even the beginner trainings contain such very useful information. There is no cat handbook required in order to create stable construction. It's just a handful of rules. I'm going to confirm now that the sketch is orientated. What does reattach have in common with copy and paste? The stability. If this sketch uses external references, which it at first glance obviously does not just because there is no object above highlighted currently beside the datum coordinate system for the position. If reattach is successful usually copy and paste is as well but let's have a look. Of course it is also required that these objects below don't have unnecessary references uh, but you can see it here each object I select does not have a relation to the object above both side of course boolean operations so let me copy and paste this until this as many features as possible and i'm not joking i'm pasting 50 features as well 500 features it doesn't matter if your construction is well defined you will be successful i'm going to copy this open the second part where I have prepared a coordinate system already and paste this. The only thing I gotta do, like in reattach, is choose a location, a plane and horizontal reference as well as point are going to be inferred the same manner as reattach. And something else I gotta do, of course, I will have to define a new target. You can see the list is very short. If your list when pasting features is long, get in contact with me, I will show you how to solve it or have a look at all my playlists and all my videos. I think it makes sense to, to save some time at some point when you're doing business and visit a proper training. My recommendation here is to use show result because if problems appear, you should know before confirming but anyway i know there's only one problem in that case one fail it's the edge blend below without having a look at the edge blend you can see the threaded hole was created before one of these boolean operations before this unite this causes the problem the threaded hole does not cut through this body because of a specific unite and needs to be moved below this unite. Then the edge blend, which is here, I mean, I can double click here, is going to be working properly again. You can see a selection rule feature intersection edges is used here. So the edge blend is related to a unite feature and not to a certain edge. I mean, you can repair this if you right click and choose another selection rule and for some of you this might be the right solution I think this is totally wrong because it does not solve this problem and the behavior also when pasting is different I'm just going to undo this and you might think of uh, repairing it within here I mean here it's not broken because here we don't have the uh, intersection problem because the threat is not too deep it's not reaching into this target and the other part it does but you might think of right click and tangent edge the result is equal you might say you're fine with this result is equal you will never copy and paste something you will never save your time by using copy and paste that's fine but if you do copy and paste now i will just use copy and paste via the keyboard Control c Control v Within the same part, 
just in order to review this list, you can see that there are edges required for the edge blend. And guess what? It's going to break anyway because these edges do not exist. Not within here and not within this part. They exist after the bowling operations. So you can't select them. You can't select them. And some of you might now say, okay, um, I don't want this to break, so I'm just going to copy these parts. And guess what? Maybe there's another problem. So you will maybe copy less. And there's still a problem. So you will reduce the number of objects and maybe at the end it's two objects and the rest you will have to create from scratch just because of not understanding how to increase stability in your parts. And one way to increase stability is the proper selection of uh, selection rules. It is in that case feature intersection edges. Result at first glance is the same, but when doing reuse, when doing modifications, you will be more successful and save a lot of time. We usually do not just create new parts, we usually do modify existing things and uh, we're always looking for reusing things and reattaching things, of course. I'm going to copy again, I'm going to paste again into the new part. Choose the plane, choose the target, confirm, accept the problem and think of a workaround. Your first solution might be to delete the threaded hole. Just have a look. Everything is working properly and you might now create a new threaded hole. Honestly, to be honest, this is one of my don'ts. I do not delete things that I've created before. I've spent time on this threaded hole, so I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to save it. Especially think of a larger feature tree. Think of further relations that are going to break after deleting this one. Maybe you have experience, you delete one sketch and hundreds of features are going to break, are going to be missing, etc. Do not delete. Also, do not cancel, by the way. How can we solve this problem? There are various opportunities, but you have to understand your designs. One of them is to move threaded hole below Unite. Is it possible? You might say, no, that's not possible. True, it's currently not possible. The only thing you have to do is break a relation or exchange a relation. So instead of subtracting from this body, you might think of a subtraction from this body. I'm just going to confirm. It's going to fail. It's going to break. No problem. But this one is going to be maintained. The reason this is broken is it's reference to a body that uh, does now no more exist. So I'm going to move it below Unite. And here it is. Here is the threaded hole. There's only one adjustment creating a relation to a different body. You want to know why this is working? You want to know how to get prepared for this? To be honest, I don't want to spend too much time in this video. I don't want to talk too much in one video and the learning effect won't be uh, so high compared to the learning effect you have when visiting a proper training where I'm talking about four rules that are required in order to create the most stable designs, in order to create unique designs, in order to be able to collaborate with your colleagues, meaning that uh, your methods will be very, very equal and just based on a handful of rules. Therefore, I've prepared the Cat Secrets video training. Let me know if you're interested. Uh, I do also share demo access and also a live webinar for experienced users. Maybe you're interested in the webinar or even a basic training as a preparation for uh, webinars, etc. Get in contact with me. I'm looking forward to your replies in the comments as well. Thanks for watching this video until now. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like and in order to support this channel, feel free to share as well. Have a nice day. Goodbye.